Opposition spokesperson Elliot Phillips says after many months of silence on the part of the reappointed transport minister and in the wake of the failure of the abysmally planned Linewall Road project, the minister has done very little to shake up transport. He says a revised highway code is nothing new and is simply a copy and paste of the new rules that have been introduced in the United Kingdom. Mr Phillips says in the UK the government conducted a massive consultation over four months in 2020 and received more than 20,000 responses in relation to the changes. He says the government here has failed to consult the public or those responsible for enforcing traffic laws on the changes it seeks to introduce. He says people want to see the real substantive changes that were promised in 2019, namely the creation of a green and child-friendly city, a vision which he says has failed to materialise. But in response, the transport minister says he hopes Mr Phillips will be supportive when projects are rolled out and not display the attitude which sees him tut and grimace at attempts to push Green Gibraltar forward when it suits him, and then in the same breath condemn government for not being green or brave enough. Paul Valvan says the government is publishing e-scooter legislation. It's introduced Zone 4 parking and is moving on plans to create local cycling infrastructure and also has many exciting projects in the pipeline that will be launched as soon as reasonably possible. Mr Valvan says Gibraltar's highway code has always been based on the one in the UK, but that the code is reviewed and adapted to meet our local requirements. He says the highway code forms part of driving tests and the police may choose to provide input into the code.